Hello, everybody, and welcome back for some weekly VR news. As always, I am Mateo311, and this is your channel for everything VR related. So today, there are a lot of stories to go over. Things like a little sneak peek at Into the Radius 2, the Quest version 64 updates are out there, and they're looking pretty good. There's lots of games dropping this week, two of which I'm really excited to get into. There's a new Among Us VR update that's out there right now plus a lot more. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this. There are, of course, links and timestamps if you want to skip ahead. But before we get in, this video is brought to you by my sponsor, Kiwi Design. Kiwi has accessories for all of your favorite headsets, and they finally started releasing some new products for the Quest 3. On screen, we have their brand new extra comfy Quest 3 Elite Strap. I've been using head straps from Kiwi for years now, and they're hands down my favorite. There's a link to Kiwi down in the description, and don't forget to use discount code MATEO311 for 5% off and to help support my channel. Okay, so let's start things off like normal with the check-in, and that's what exactly have I been up to in the VR world, and it's nothing. I was on vacation, stepped away from technology for a week, did a lot of like really cool real-life activities like rock climbing, indoor skydiving, surfing, a lot of cool things. So. I'm refreshed, I'm back, I just need to shave, but besides that, I'm good to go. But I'm jumping right in. I'm definitely covering some games this week, and this is where I asked you guys, what do you wanna see me cover? Madison VR, Nope Challenge, Soul Covenant, or something else. If I missed something, there's a bunch of games releasing this week. Those are the ones that interest me the most, so just write in the comments, please cover Madison VR, please cover Soul Covenant, whatever it is, and if you want me to cover two, say that, whatever, or if I missed one. Okay, so that's the check-in, nothing much going on, and I will most likely be getting to the big screen beyond this week. We'll see what happens. Now, let's just move on to this week's list of new releasing games. First up is Big Shots. This is a mech piloting VR roguelite where you're up against hordes of alien creatures. It focuses on high-speed gameplay and movement. You'll get access to both temporary and permanent buffs. And the feature I'm most excited about is the full campaign is playable in co-op. I know the roguelite genre is really overdone in VR, but it's rare that we get to play it with a friend. I'm also a really big fan of the near cell shaded cartoon style graphics, so I'm definitely planning to try this one out. Now the next title I'm much more reluctant on, even though it looks pretty damn cool. It's described as a VR tactical action game where you're battling for the fate of the world. Now my skepticism of this game steps in because it's made by Thirdverse, the studio that brought us both Swords of Gargantua and Alt Airbreaker. While both titles did include some cool features, they were both extremely grindy and lacking content. I'm scared this title will be all flash with no real substance and crappy mechanics. But I definitely hope I'm wrong here because the trailer does look pretty darn cool. But who knows, maybe third verse will actually surprise us this time. Now moving on, we have the co-op zombie shooter, The Flip. Now I'm definitely down for a co-op shooter, but come on, more zombies? On top of that, this is kind of looking like a rec room experience and pretty darn generic. I hope I'm wrong though and the overall gameplay is pretty solid, because honestly that's easily the most important aspect of the game. I guess this is a perfect time for me to ask you guys to chime in. Let me know in the comments with the flip looks good or the flip looks bad. And finally, after multiple delays, the PlayStation VR 2 will be getting that horror title Madison VR. Now I actually know a few people who've already completed this title and said it was awesome, and they even played the game before the latest update which added a native 90Hz mode. Prior to that, it was running at 60Hz and reprojected up to 120. And if you're familiar with the PlayStation VR 2, you know just how bad their reprojection can be. So I'm completely okay, they decided to delay the game for this. Now I've previously spoke about Madison VR about a hundred times in the past. It's set to be an absolutely terrifying psychological horror title. And if you're into that type of gameplay, this'll be a must have title. But for now, let's move on to new announcements, starting with a dark themed fantasy title coming from the studio that gave us a township tale. Currently listed simply as Project 2, a brand new YouTube channel has been set up dedicated entirely to this game's production. So you could watch it in the very early stage that it's currently in, all the way up until this game eventually releases. It's definitely giving me some Dungeons of Eternity vibes, which is a great start. And with the fact that their previous title, A Township Tale, just had such robust gameplay, I have some extremely high hopes for this new game. It does look like it'll be a while before we get into it though. In the meantime, we can check out the brand new Among Us VR Infection event. This not only adds a brand new map, but also a completely new gameplay mode. Players are now split into two separate teams, including chefs and zomburritos. Chefs will need to complete 10 cooking team tasks, while the zomburritos just need to spread their infection to the remainder of the crew. I love all these updates that Shell Games keeps pumping out for Among Us VR. I'm definitely gonna try this one out. If you guys want me to set up some type of community event, 
let me know down in the comments. I'll set it up. We could all jump in together and have a grand old time. Now, moving on to additional updates, the YouTube app on the Quest now supports 8K resolutions, which is kind of a big deal. Now, why do I say kind of? Well, we know that the Quest LCD panel is not 8K. You're not going to be watching true 8K visuals, but the more you bump that resolution, the crisper your image should be, at least to a certain degree. So you're going to be getting really high quality video from YouTube now when you're watching on your Quest, which is always a good thing. Now, other bigger updates are in version 64 for the Quest, which I talked about actually right before I left for vacation, which was one, the enhancements to pass through. Now that it's popping up, a lot more people are saying, yes, pass through is better. You have some people that say, no, it didn't get better at all. Or some people say it even got worse. I really don't know what goes on with that. I told you guys my personal experience that I have two headsets. They're not both in the background right now, but I actually get slightly different pass through quality on both headsets. So again, I don't know what that's about. I'm just going to leave it at that because I know everyone always chimes in with strong opinions on this, that the pass through isn't good enough. There's no change. There's amazing change. It just runs the gambit. Now, additionally, we have the lying down mode, which is something I've wanted for a long time because I have reclining chairs behind me and I really can't watch things in the reclining chair because once I get you know, pushed back, the screen is not where I need it to be. The screen is, you know, in the wrong position. So lying down mode, something I've wanted for a long time. Good on them. Took forever, but I'm happy it's here. And finally, we have the option to use external microphones, which is great for content creators. I don't see the average user using that option too much. Like it's good enough. What we have now is good enough for talking to people and playing games. It's just not good enough for content creation. So you can use an external mic now. Good on Meta. An even cooler feature that they're apparently experimenting with is a new replay or instant replay mode so you could capture some viral content. Obviously, Meadow wants to make VR more popular. I, you know, we see their Instagram app. They're re redoing Facebook right now. So they definitely want us to be posting some VR content. And if we have the ability to capture like the last few seconds, get some really cool viral clips. Yeah, that'll definitely work for posting content. So. That's another cool feature. Very happy about that. Now let's move into the main story, which is we just got a little tease for Into the Radius 2. Now, if you're somehow not familiar with the horror theme shooter Into the Radius, you should definitely go check it out right now and thank me later. This game drops you into an extremely creepy dystopian world filled with shadow-like creatures and weird anomalies. It's part survival game as you have to scrounge for weapons and materials, and the gameplay could be rather unforgiving and absolutely terrifying at times. Now, I know a lot of people can't handle VR horror, so one of the major features that should ease up the tension in the sequel is a four-person co-op mode. For many, myself included, this is the ideal scenario. Having someone there to watch my back as I explore this creepy environment definitely makes the game a lot more up my alley. Additionally, it looks like the graphics are getting a nice boost, and maybe we'll dive even deeper into this game's storyline when it releases in early access this summer. Now, one final super quick story before we end today's video, and that's the fact that PC VR is kind of still growing a little bit. It's not like crazy, blown out of proportion, but you know, I've, I've spoken many times before how the future is mobile VR. It's just accessibility, the price, and that really is what brings people in. And it's the only thing that's really worked in terms of growth. You know, PlayStation VR 2 isn't cutting it. PC VR has been trending down for the last like three, four years. But actually, recently, it's got a little bit more of an uptick. So that's cool. There are plenty of things in the PC VR scene that you can't get on Quest. Obviously, the fidelity is just so much better. If you're a Quest owner who has the capability of trying it with a PC, I highly recommend it. There's amazing games out there. The mod scene, so much cool stuff. You know, my roots are in PC VR. I still love it, still prefer it. It's just not helping developers sell their game or make the money needed. So obviously that's why I put a little bit more support into the quest these days. It's honestly the product I'm using more, but that is a topic for a different story. For now, this video is over. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys on next time.